Well, what's up everybody? My name is Shaylin and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel and my closet. <laughs> Um, no, this isn't actually my closet. This is the guest bedrooms uh, closet, obviously, which is why we have all of our luggage at the bottom, which hopefully that's not too big of an eyesore for you guys. But um, my closet doesn't have very good lighting. So um, this one has a nice big window in front of it. So I figured would be better to film over here. Well, first of all, welcome to the sixth episode, I'm pretty sure, of How to Hemiplegia. Today we are going over how to dress yourself with one side of your body only that's functional. <laughs> I picked out a few main items that I thought would be interesting and that would show um, the extent of how you would dress yourself as somebody with hemiplegia. Um, I am sitting in a chair right now, but I'm going to get up so that we can get back in business. <laughs> I wore some comfy, easy to layer, I guess, clothing so that this remains a PG-13 video um, or a G-rated channel, I guess I should say. Um, don't want any nudity here, so <laughs> anyway, um, I guess we can start with what I'm already wearing. Zippers. Extremely hard with one hand, but I figured out a way all by myself. Don't know how I did it, but I managed. Somehow, somewhere along the way, I figured out how to do a zipper with one hand. I'm going to show you today, so hopefully you guys can see. Um, maybe I'll get closer, but so basically once you get your, well, I guess I'll start with how to put on like a jacket or a coat or anything. So the best rule of thumb when you're dressing a half paralyzed body is to start with the affected limb. So for instance, not necessarily for like shoes or anything, but definitely for pants and for shirts, you get the gist. Definitely start with the affected limbs. Um, so for a jacket, so basically you're gonna wanna grab where you wanna put your sleeve in. So I'm just grabbing right above the left hole. Um, I kind of try to let my left arm help as much as possible, so I'm gonna attempt to extend my left arm as much as I can. And then you just kind of like throw it into the hole. You have to make sure that the sleeve is up on the wrist so that it doesn't get caught on your elbow or anything. Pull it up all the way over your shoulder and then just kind of feel your way into the right spot. And there you go, you got a jacket on. <laughs> Boom. So then once you have this, if you want it zipped up, you could just leave it like this, but I prefer zipped up so that it's more secure. Don't have to worry about it like falling off my shoulder, which if you're wearing any kind of like open jacket or anything like that, even shirts, honestly, like spaghetti strap shirts, if they're not like super form fitting, they'll just fall right off my left shoulder all the time. Cause I do have a bit of a drop shoulder if you can't tell. Um, I'll stand in front of the white so you can see, but this shoulder is definitely a lot higher than that one. And that's just because I don't really use that shoulder, but yeah, basically um, that promotes <laughs> clothing to fall off and it is not the best thing. <laughs> so now for the zipper. Basically what I like to do is I take the side that has the actual zipper on it make sure that it's all the way down so to do that i just kind of i take the tab with my thumb and my index finger and then my middle finger goes on the like bottom side of it and i just kind of push um make sure it's all the way down maybe i'll tilt this down so you guys can see a little better so yeah push it all the way oh 
So that's a good um, demonstration. It's out of the bottom piece, so you're gonna wanna, or you could even just honestly do this to make it go down. But yeah, so anyway, make sure it's down and then you I kind of like to make sure that it's more towards the right side so I don't have to reach too far. Makes it a lot easier that way. Fit it. Ooh. Fit it in there, push down, and then hopefully it's in the right spot. You're gonna wanna keep pulling down, push it against yourself and use your fingers while you're pushing on the opposite side to pull up on the tab. And there you go. <laughs> you got a zipped up jacket. So, that was the jacket. Now, I'm gonna take this, I don't know what you would call this, like a bubble, <laughs> like a kind of ribbed bubble coat. It's pretty long, it goes down to like mid thigh for me. Again, putting it on, starting with the affected limb first. So, ooh, it's gonna get warm in here. So basically for something long like this, it is gonna be a lot easier to sit down. So I'm gonna grab my chair. If you can possibly grab a seat when you're doing something like this, it would be a lot easier. So, um, oh, okay. That's why this is weird. So when dressing yourself, um, definitely want to make sure that the like zipper part is on the same side as your affected side it's going to be a lot easier for this technique that i showed you to use your your able hand to um zip it up so this one is backwards i think it's because it's a women's coat I'm pretty sure um, like women's style is on the right for some reason. I have no idea why or like what would constitute putting the zipper on a different side. But anyway, I kind of use my um, affected limb as like a paperweight anchor type deal. Okay, so that worked. So basically what I did was I grabbed the zipper side and I pushed it into the anchor down like thinner side and then just kind of like pulled it up a little and then pull down on the there we go so when so this coat has two zippers like one on the top one on the bottom i basically pushed my middle finger into the bottom one while i zipped it up i'll just try and show it so basically i went like like this and then once it's here, you can kind of just maneuver your way all the way, all the way up like this. And there you have it. Coat zipped up. <laughs> Next up is this t-shirt. So basically, same rule of thumb, affected arm in first. What I do to get t-shirts on basically is I grab the shoulder corner of the affected side. I kind of just toss it up and catch it inside the hole like this. And then I keep going all the way down until I get to the big opening where my body will be. And then I feed through my affected arm, kind of use my able hand to get my hand through, and then I feed it through all the way as far up as I can, um, next, like close enough to my shoulder. And then I'm gonna wanna just put through my able arm, get it close to my shoulders. And then when you're close enough up, you're gonna wanna put the material over your affected shoulder and if you have the stretchiness in the room to do so, put it over your other shoulder. You're gonna be choking a little bit. <laughs> then you just grab the hole for the head and feed your head through. And then pull down. And there you go. You got your shirt on. 
And then to remove shirts, I basically, if the sleeves aren't big enough to put your hand back through this way, like this, then what you're gonna wanna do is bend over and kind of grab your shirt and pull it all the way up. And then you grab the bottom and you flip it over your head. But since my sleeves are big enough and I don't wanna mess up my, my hair with the clip, I'm gonna just put my hand through my sleeve, kind of feed it down through, bring it up. And then I'm just gonna put my head through the hole and then off the arm. To put it on the hanger, again, grab the one of the shoulder corners. I'm gonna bite it with my teeth, grab the hanger, <laughs> um, feed it through the armhole where your teeth are, let go, um, bite the hanger with the clothing on it, and then Uh, loop the other armhole through. I have a sweater, but it's it's basically the same thing for the sweater. I guess I'll do it really quick just to review what I just said about the t-shirt. Um, so again, feed your arm through, get your hemiplegic arm through the sleeve, um, get your hand through the hole, um, stretch your arm out, bring it up towards your shoulder, other arm, able arm through, um, over the shoulders, choke a little bit, grab the head hole, um, take off your glasses if you have glasses because they'll get caught in there and it's not pretty, um, can't see, <laughs> um, then get your head through the head hole. Oof. And if you're styling your hair, make sure you do your hair after you get dressed. Unless you're doing the ponytail from last week's video, because you're just going to mess up your hair. Um, you're going to want to make sure you get dressed before you do your hair. Anytime, usually, will work the best. You got a sweater on. And then to take it off, a little bit different again take off your glasses um for long sleeves like this i like to put it over my able hand pinch it with my knees and then slip my hand through again up over my able shoulder out my head out the hole and then off your arm There you go. My hair is probably messed up. Okay, so basically, you get the gist from my last few videos and from first few garments, your mouth is going to act as your other hand for most things with hemiplegia. So I am, however, going to change out of these biker shorts into a thinner pair of like five inch shorts because this cotton material will definitely catch on the denim and it'll be a lot harder for me to pull up. So <laughs> obviously in normal circumstances, you're not going to be wearing shorts under your shorts or under any pants, so it won't be hard to pull up, but wearing five inch shorts, shorts, <laughs> wearing five inch shorts will simulate the same motions, I guess, as um, not having any shorts on. So this is a lot easier if you're sitting down, but I've done it enough times where I can do it standing up, so. You're basically going to want to make sure zippers unzipped and the buttons unbuttoned, which is pretty normal, I think, for putting shorts on without a disability. <laughs> but basically, you're going to want to take them by the front where the buttons are. Make sure you can visualize both of the leg holes. Good thing is I have pretty good balance on my non-affected limbs, so 
I can like fidget around and get my left leg in the hole without like any balance issues. Once you visualize the holes, you're just gonna stand on your one leg, get your affected limb inside the hole, um, pull it up as much as you can, and then let go of the affected side of the pants or the shorts. And then you're gonna wanna step in. I don't have good balance on my affected limb as of yet. So I'm gonna do this really fast because I can't really stand on my limb to, you know what, I should probably tilt this down a little bit. But yeah, I have it in my left, my left leg in the pant hole. And then I'm gonna step in the other pant hole really fast. <laughs> and then basically what all you're gonna do is kind of just like twist and jiggle them all the way up. I kind of like to grip it up higher on the able limb and then pull up on this one. And then just keep doing each side until you get them up all the way. So you're first gonna wanna zip, um, cause that'll help the buttons become closer together. Um, but to button, basically, so I take it with my index finger and my thumb like this, and then I grab the hole with my middle finger, and I then I push with my thumb the button through the hole like that. So I'll do that again. Idea, do it from different angles. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. Do it from this side. Um, okay, and then to undo it, I basically just pull from this corner and go like that, and it's open. To take it off, obviously I showed you how to take off the button, and you unzip. I kind of just like pull down from the back first, because obviously the butt is the part that sticks out the most, and then they drop. Let's do pants. Again, pretty much the same thing as shorts just a little bit different because of the length of the legs obviously i think i'm going to keep this angle so that you guys can see better um so basically again you're going to want to make sure the button and the zipper is undone and then again grab where the hemiplegic leg is going to be um and then feed your leg through If your foot gets caught on the pant leg at all, um, try to like point your foot through it. I have like a, what would I call it? Like a reflex, I guess. If I push my leg out really hard like this, my foot drops down. So I guess I'm lucky that way. Um, but basically legs in the hole and do the same thing. Just get your leg in, your able leg in the other hole as fast as possible if you don't have good balance. <laughs> okay, and then yeah, basically just push, pull up on each corner. It's nice if you have belt loops, that'll make it easier to pull up. Then you're gonna wanna get the zipper up. Um, so this might be funny, I have two buttons because I bought these off of Amazon. They're just like little pins. It's basically, um, your pants will fit your butt, but then there will be a lot of extra room in the waist. So that's basically just to make your pants hug your waist a little bit better. For the tutorial sake, I am gonna use the original button. So just ignore this one. Um, I guess I could show both, but I'll start with the original button the pants came with. Pretty much the same way, I just, do that, take it off, grab the button or next to the button, pull it over with your middle finger and pull it through. Okay, and then if your button's a little further over like mine is, I would push the button with my thumb, pull the loop with my index finger and pull it like this, get it caught on my finger and then push from the inside. 
Boom. Once again, push with the thumb, pull with the index, loop around to the back, and pull it through. And again, take them off, zipper, or button zipper around the back, and push them down. Do some shaky legs if you have to get them all the way down. And then I have it all folded. So if you guys wanna see um, a video on how I fold my clothes, make sure you comment down below and let me know, and I can try and get that video up as soon as possible. So next, I really wanna show you guys how to put on a bathing suit, specifically a bikini, um, because it can be really tricky. For um, appropriate sake, I'm not gonna do any like undergarments, so I guess this could simulate the same thing. So for bottoms, you're gonna wanna make sure, if you tie up sides, just don't even bother. Don't get tie up sides. They, they're too hard to maintain with one hand. It's just not worth it. Unless you have somebody with you that's willing to constantly like make sure you're all good in that department. <laughs> Basically, I just kind of like fumble around and make sure it's inside in first. Then I'm gonna grab the front part. If you can tell what the front part is. And then again, foot in, bring it up and then other leg in. Pull it up. Easy as that. <laughs> then obviously like situate the back part, look in the mirror even, make sure everything's covered because if you're anything like me and you lost sensation on the left side of your body, you won't be able to feel if your entire butt cheek is sticking out. <laughs> so that's on. I chose this top because it is really tricky um, to figure out. If you have tie up ones, like a tie back here and a tie around the neck, get somebody to pre tie it for you and then just kind of like squirm your way in and out of it when you're taking it on and off. Um, that's what I found to be the best. But basically this one has a clasp. Um, nothing to tie here, thank God. Um, just shoulder straps and then the little clasp at the back. So basically, with these kind of clasps, I'm gonna pin this on my chin. I might sound kind of funny because my chin is being occupied, but hang it like this. Make sure nothing is twisted. Make sure it's all hanging the right way. And then the bigger slots are what go together. So I'm gonna wanna take Well, I guess you could just kind of like guide it in with your hand and then pull and it'll be, it'll be secure. So without like um, jiggling that part too much, you're gonna wanna keep it secure. So maybe keep it in your hand as much as you can to make sure it stays together. Um, you're gonna wanna open up the left armhole and put your limb, or the affected arm's armhole, and put your affected limb through. Um, and then again, put your, make sure these are all good to go. Um, you can adjust it if it, like the strap flipped later, but put your head through, um, get it over your shoulder. Um, and then just kind of like move it around, fix it up, make sure everything's sitting properly. And then yeah, make sure the back strap isn't flipped or anything like that. Um, and yeah, there you go. You got it on properly. Okay, so now same thing to get it off pretty much as any shirt. Um, hair is going to be ruined by the end of this video. This was one that I thought of, what video was it? I think it was my bun video, the one where I did the tight little bun at the back. I was wearing a rope in that video 
And in the middle of the video, I ended up having to adjust it because it was sliding down a little bit. <laughs> and I thought that would be a good thing to put in a video, like how to put a robe on with one hand, because it is not the easiest thing. I'm going to say that. So if you want to put the um, belt through the loops ahead of time, make sure um, like to lay it out on a bed and do it that way. But basically you're gonna just put it on just like you would a sweater or a coat or a jacket or anything of that sort. Um. Then you're gonna wanna make sure you have eyes on the belt. Make sure it's even if you can. But some of them have um, like ribbons on the inside to make it a lot easier. So you could do it that way. I don't usually because I'm not like fully committed to having it, having it on for a long period of time. Open up the able arm side a little bit, cross over the affected arm side all the way over as far as you can. Um, and then quickly open this up and grab it. <laughs> and then grab this side and kind of um, secure that side. I hold this in my mouth tight, like make sure it's pulled tight and in your mouth. And then grab this and then grab, ugh, I'm gonna vomit, I'm gonna trigger my gag reflex. And then you're gonna grab the other side while this is in your mouth, cross it over and tie it really tight. It's kind of hard to explain while I do it. Maybe I'll explain after I already do it. So cross it, pull it, and then once it's tied once you're gonna do that exact thing again with the tie so hold this up or even hold the other side up and then cross it and pull it through and there you go you have like a double knot and that way it stays a lot tighter you could do a bow which would be nicer looking but honestly the knot just keeps it secure more. So to take out a knot like this, basically I just grab the like loop on the outer side and pull it like this. And then you can just pull over here and it'll come loose. What else? Oh, socks. Socks is a tricky one. So I have a long pair of like longer Nike socks, and I have a pair of ankle socks to show you guys. For the sake of getting used to dressing yourself affected side first, I always start with my affected foot as well. Um, I'm just gonna take off my socks that I was wearing today. Let's start with the longer socks. So basically you're gonna wanna put your foot up on your leg, take the sock by the inner corner, and then I like to flip my hand inside and make like a, a bigger hole, like stretch out the fabric. And then I just kind of fit it over my toes. Pull it from the back and just keep going all the way around. Adjust it, you can't get caught. And just keep on pulling until you get all the way up. And then for the right side, it's a little bit easier because this foot can kind of help you out. So same thing, I take it and I make a bigger hole, kind of slide it through my foot, point my toes down so that it fits a little bit better, and then adjust it as you may need. So then to take them off, um, I just put my two fingers in one of the sides, and then pull under my heel, and then it comes right off. Same thing with this side. Pull down under the heel and it comes right off. For ankle socks, these are my hiking socks so they're a little dingy and gross, but pretty much the same thing. You're just gonna grab it, make a bigger hole. Get your affected leg, put it over your toes, and pull on each side rather than like just the back more so because um, it's a little bit tighter than the bigger sock. Um, but once it's over your heel, you're pretty good to go. The right foot, um, Again, take it, put it over your toes, pull, point your toe, wiggle it around if you have to, and get it over your heel. 
There you go. Take them off again. Finger through the heel, pull from the toes. Finger through the heel, pull from the toes. That was fun. Um, hoping you guys, if you didn't learn something from this video, then I hope that you were at least entertained. Some people, I guess, aren't um, fortunate enough to have like an occupational therapist work with them to learn how to dress themselves independently. Um, I was fortunate enough to have that. So I just thought I would share my knowledge and um, lend a helping hand to anybody who might need some assistance in that department. So hope you're liking this series of how to hemiplegia. I have lots more videos to come for this series, um, but I will be introducing a new series I think pretty soon that I'll also be um, putting videos up for. So if you haven't already, um, which I know most of you haven't because I've looked at my YouTube analytics, but if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like. And if you're feeling crazy, <laughs> then uh, hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video, which will be every Thursday at 12 p.m. Uh, mountain time. So, and also don't be afraid to share um, your feedback. I'm totally open to feedback um, or suggestions if you want to hear or if you want to see specific videos from me. Um, definitely open to all ideas um, as long as they're appropriate. <laughs> if you have a way of putting on a piece of clothing that's different from what I showed here, feel free to comment in the comments. You might um, spark up a conversation with somebody who has some questions or who has their own way of doing things. You guys can talk about it. If not that, then my DMs, my messages are always open um, to anybody who needs some advice, some tips and tricks. You can uh, follow me on Instagram at Shave the Stroke Survivor. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>